Alright guys, so uh, this is my most requested video uh, to put up this, this tutorial again for straightening out boxes. Now, this is a, a, a sort of tip that I, I taught myself. I thought, you know, one day I had a crushed box and I thought, you know, bugger it, what harm can I do by trying? So it actually works quite well. Now, this box that I'm using here is my old uh, Lion King, as you can see. It has been kicking around the floor here uh, for quite a few weeks. I actually specifically kept this to do this tutorial. As you can see here, it is really badly squashed along the edges. So hopefully this should serve as a good example of how to straighten out the boxes. On this side here, there's a single crease. Um, as you can see, it's actually, you know, because it's been bent so often, you can actually see through the print on it. So even though we're going to straighten this out, you're still going to have that mark on it. But the main purpose of this is to sort of restore the structural integrity of the cardboard so that it doesn't uh, lay flat anymore. And uh, we should be able to get the majority of these out. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to purposely put a couple of more creases in this across the front here. So if I just fold this thing in half here and give it a squeeze. You can see a big crease on it there. So you're never, you'll never get it perfect. So if that's what you're looking for, you're wasting your time with this tutorial. All you can really do is try and restore the general shape of these boxes. So uh, the likes of that crease there, you will always see that. Even though you should be able to get it pretty flat, you're always going to see that on the cardboard now. So it's not ideal, but for the likes of these cardboard boxes, which uh, get crushed quite often, um, it's really all you can do to try and restore these things. Now, if you're really fussy about it, you can't actually pop these boxes open. They're uh, glued, sorry, they're glued along this edge here. So sometimes, you could uh, sometimes even I've done it. We can get a, a razor blade and slice along in between the two layers of cardboard and actually open the whole box out. But in general, I don't usually do that. Um, I just try and work around it. So this side here is really flimsy in this because it's been bent so many times. So uh, we'll start with that edge. Now I also have a purpose bit. A purpose cut piece of wood here which I use it's exactly the right width for the game gear boxes um, so I use this to take out any creases in the front of it so I actually slide the game gear box onto this and then I'll prop it up on, a, on something at each end and then I can iron the front of it flat so we're going to do that as well uh, really, uh, really, there's not, there's not much to this. You just have to sort of take your time. Now, the the iron I use, I actually purpose bought this iron for this because I was using the wife's iron, and she started bitching at me for it because it was like, getting sticky stuff on her iron and, and whatever. So I bought this iron at my local Asda for like three ninety nine, and this is all I use it for, it's perfect for it. So one thing you need to note is uh, you shouldn't use steam. Uh, you can actually wet, wet the box, uh, but that's entirely up to you, I very rarely do it. Uh, wet in the box, you know, if you, if you wet along here and then iron it, it does actually, the water soaks into it, but you need to leave it in that position, you know, the flat position, until it's dried. So I'll start, I'll start with the flaps here. And uh, the legs of this corner here, where the cardboard is all 
sort of split apart. What I normally do is get a little bit of uh, PVA glue on a brush and I'll brush in between the layers and then glue it. But you can also uh, just use water if you just wet that and uh, once you iron it, it will stick itself, stick itself back down. So let's see if I can zoom you in a bit here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep you in shot here while I'm doing this. So really there's not much to it. Um, I have this iron on its hottest setting. So if you just give it a good firm push down as you're doing it. And then what I do is I hold it in position until excuse me until it goes cool. And that generally then stays in that position. So you can see that's nice and flat there. Let's just move on to these side flaps here. See this box is in extremely bad condition. Uh, so this might might not turn out as well as other ones, but really, you know, the worse the box the worse the result you're going to get. Uh, when I last done this tutorial on my old channel, which a few people pointed out that um, I had mentioned that this can be used, this method can be used on any cardboard box. Some people had mentioned that some of the NES games, Super, Super NES, the, game, the boxes actually have a plastic coating on them. So you need to be very careful with that. You don't actually melt the box and make it worse. So as you can see that uh, those flaps are now nice and flat. And uh, we'll move on to the sides here. Now because this is uh, really flimsy. This might be writing sort of tricky for me but uh, I'll try my best. So if you just sort of hold hold the box up on its edge here and then I'm just going to iron this top part here. Try not to put too much pressure on it because I don't want to crush the box any more than it already is crushed. See I, I normally wouldn't buy a box in this bad, bad condition. It's usually only the sides here that I'm doing now that are the problem area. So you just get plenty of heat in it here. And uh, I just usually hold it in position again until it uh, cools down. So what that does is it actually it sort of strengthens where the crease is. And the box will then hold its shape. You see that's uh, pretty good. Now that is a really big crease in that. So you might want, on a crease just as bad as that, you might want to actually wet the cardboard on the inside. That will help it uh, re, sort of reform again. Uh, see this is an extreme case, this box. It normally wouldn't be as bad as this, but See, this box was sort of, it was going in the bin anyway, so I purposely left it lying around the floor in the dining room for the kids to walk on and stuff, uh, just to get it in this really bad condition to sort of show that you can restore at least the structural integrity of the box. So this side is really flimsy here because it's been bent so much it's almost like paper. But uh, we've got a bit of strength back into it there. This side here is going to be a problem because it is really thin. As you can see my finger pushing through it there. But uh, we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to uh, do the top flaps here. As you can see these are quite badly crushed. 
I'll just uh, make sure these are flat to start with, so I'm not full, uh, ironing more creases in it. So it's just really a, a, a matter of trial and error. Um, I haven't, uh, you know, I'm always sort of pleased with the results that I get from this because your box is crushed anyway, so anything is an improvement really, isn't it? <clears throat> Again, for this big flap, I will actually hold it down on the flat piece of wood here until it cools. You just need to watch you don't burn yourself because when you lift the iron off this wood and this bit of cardboard is really hot. So uh, just take care you don't roast yourself. So as you can see there that flat flap is nice and flat. So I'm going to move on to the front and the back here and see how well we can get those smoothed out. Well, I've got a couple of uh, glasses here just to prop my piece of wood up on and I'll just slide that into the box here and then prop it up on each side here hopefully it will stay still good enough to uh, allow me to iron it here so like I said this is in really bad condition this box really you shouldn't be buying boxes in this bad of condition because you're never going to get them perfect so again just with these game gear boxes now you seem to be able to put as much heat into them as you need if you haven't melted or scorched any of them yet and this iron is extremely hot like I said it's on its hottest setting so We'll just hold that down there until it goes cool again. Okay, that's not bad. See, you're, you're really just trying to get a bit of strength into this thing again. Rather than, you know, it, well it does reshape it, but you can still plainly see where it's been cr or creased across the front of it. So iron it, ironing it will never get that out. Really all you're trying to do is you know, reshape it like I have said. So we'll do the back of it here. So sort of move the flaps out of the way here. So if you can see, hopefully you can see in the camera there how sort of wavy that is. And again, hold it down until it goes cool. That is quite warm, but uh, it's not warm enough to be burning me. Okay. So, as you can see already, it is uh, pretty box shaped, shaped again. Uh, these uh, sides especially this part here which is really flimsy um, what they could actually do is uh, like I said if you can wet the inside of here and then iron it now if you had a bit of wood the right thickness you could lean, lean on that against that I'll actually try it here with this thinner piece see what happens I've never actually tried this before so uh, I can't really do any harm
So ideally this piece of wood that I'm using should be really twice as thick this way and then it would be perfect for doing these side, side pieces. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll just fold the box back up here and give you a look at the finished product. Like I said guys, this is never gonna you know, make your boxes brand new but for a really bad crushed box it can, you know, at least restore the general shape of it. So that's pretty good considering how bad this was. And as you see, you can still see the creases in it. But it is sort of a, a lot sturdier than it was and it will hold its shape again now. So that's really how I uh, reshape my boxes. Um, generally, if, if someone posts one of these in a jiffy bag, they'll get squashed down that way and usually the sides will get squashed like that. So really, you know, nine times out of ten, all I have to do is set it up on its side and iron the sides of it and hold it and that will you know take shape again and become stronger and it will then hold hold itself you know it can support its own weight again um so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys that's uh all there is to it, like I said, it's not recommended to use your wife's iron to do this because you will get yourself in trouble. Uh, I take no responsibility for anyone who gets divorced over the iron. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty good result considering how bad this box was. Um, as always, I'm more than happy to give anyone any tips or additional information if you have any questions so feel free to ask and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching um, i hope this is good enough for everyone who requested this video um, thanks for your support as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time